Greyhound racing this week, Olympic Park on Monday night and the first leg of the double race to the favourite Terry Moto at 6-4 from box number 6 and our commentator of course is Ronnie Hawkswell. Boxed. Racing this time, slow to begin was Pan on the inside and Terry Moto slowly away. Young Jetty went straight to the front and led three lengths running into the first turn. Sensation Chief second, Becky's promise third. They were followed over on the inside by Chevalier. Terry Moto starting to make some ground. Came out and collided with Becky's promise, then lucky draw. Wide out then is Swanky Tough and last is Panham. The leader out of the straight was Young Jetty by two lengths to Sensation Chief. Four lengths away then came Terry Moto on the outside, followed by Chevalier. Then came lucky draw, Becky's promise. Panham second last, Swanky Top last. Up the back, it's Young Jetty. Two lengths out in front, but Terry Moto starts to wind up quickly. Terry Moto, the outside of Young Jenny, though, round the turn. Terry Moto took the lead. Young Jenny's gone. Chevalier runs on, but Terry Moto goes down to the post to win from Sensation Chief. Third is either Becky's promise, the outside of Chevalier. In the Racing second leg, the favourite stamp of Lee Rod from box six. Box number six, it'll go to the front, settling down. Potty's Gully's caught out wide on the first bend, and check was Vibrant Image. Out to the tail, and Heather's Opal down. Down the first bend into the back straight and it's stamp of Lear on the leader. Potty's Gully running second. Four lengths away to Super Step and five lengths vibrant image. Followed by Reese Road Scotty Cutler Chief and right out of the race. Swanport Prince near the turn. Stamp of Learod just in front of Potty's Gully. Four lengths Super Step. The leader stamp of Learod now kicks away from Potty's Gully. Super Step runs on but in the run home. An easy win to Stamp of Learod second and a photo might be Super Step from Potty's Gully. A pair of sixes the Olympic Park doubles six dollars and seventy cents. Sandown Park on Thursday night, first leg favourite Street Kid from box number three. Racing, Street Kid out in the box number three, a little bit slow to begin and going quickly there was Wanton Chief. Carlight Kid got up on the inside and Hawk Machine driving through on the centre to the back and Carlight Kid got up on the inside and led two lengths. Running down the back straight now from Hawk Machine, Street Kid over on the outside as Diama two lengths further back as Wanton Chief. Then Calvi's career as Salina Lass, it's Carlight Kid the leader. Street Kid now hooks to the outside as finishing strongly. Street Kid is pouring on the pressure on the turn, the favourite swept to the front out wide and Street Kid is drawing clear in the run home straight kid won by three lengths Kyle kid and Wanton Chief run a photo for six Ready. In the second leg, the favourite Venetari at odds on from box number three. But Venetari will go to the front, settling down. Regal Laughter driving up on the inside, running into the first turn. Regal Laughter and Venetari, they collide the first turn. Both lost ground on the leader. Savage Silk got through to take the lead. Savage Silk by two lengths to Regal Laughter. They were followed by Dawn Stebo. Further back in the field, Venetari. And right out of the race, then came Nolan Etzel Rosanna. And also Sweet Tina around the turn, though. And the red Savage Silk shot away. It's well clear of Regal after Savage Silk, won by three lengths. Regal after second, third as Dawn's tempo. Good result for the bookies in the second league. Three and one, the Sandown double, 42.80 at Geelong. On Friday night, Brabinger was the first league favourite from box eight. Racing this time and slow to begin there was Flash Salute and Flinders Star. Away smartly, Scotty Shroud on the inside but Brabinger moving up quickly. Going up to be third now, Flash Salute on the outside from Carolyn Heather. Then Amber Impulse followed by Flinders Star and about three lengths to Artspeck and Salamagundi off the back and Brabinger ran right to the front now and kicked nicely clear of Flash Salute on the outside, Scotty Shroud and Amber Impulse but into the straight and Brabinger's race clear of the opposition and Brabinger wins by three lengths to Scotty Shroud and third is Flash Salute. Right in the, in the second leg, the favourite Silver Award again, box eight, and straight to the front. Going quickly, and Silver Award led by two lengths, settling down to Asses Craw, and Skokie Express followed by Ballara Flyer. Further back in the field, then came Fiery Blitz and bet this guy right out of it, followed by Sarah Litton, Boy James, but Silver Award travels clear. On the turn, it's about four lengths out in front, Fiery Blitz making ground, followed by Skokie Express, but up the straight, it's Silver Award will make it three on end. Silver Award won by two lengths to Fiery Blitz, Skokie Express third. A pair of eights in the Geelong double, netted you $2.75 last night at Cranbourne, the first league favourite like fine wine at 2 to 1 from box 5. Racing, flying Satan a bit slow to begin and poorly out was Terra on an Aussie Mac and going quickly our pick. Led on settling down, welcome Roy in the centre was checked to the outside. It goes out to the tail, flying Satan got up to be second, our pick the leader. Flying Satan second, five lengths Aussie Mac third, four lengths away to Balneering Girl, then Terra on like fine wine. Followed by welcome Roy and Royal Tribe but off the back it's our pick the leader. Flying Satan up on the outside and three lengths away to Aussie Mac coming into it. But our pick turns for home in front, flying Satan the challenger, it's our pick and flying Satan, but our pick in front and one by Nectar Flying Satan. Two and a half to Aussie Mac, third and then Terra.
Ready? Triple Fame, the favourite in the second leg from box one. And away smartly down to the inside is Morty Bay with Triple Fame. They were followed by Bunyip Bandit, Ready Master going around the outside. Morty Babin wide out, Ready Master, Triple Fame on the inside. But Ready Master took the lead in the back straight and drew clear from Morty Babe. Triple Fame third on the inside. They were followed by Bunya Bandit. Slave Boy, they were followed further back by Miss the Chance and five lengths to Would You. But Ready Master's four lengths in front. Triple Fame running second, starting to run on strongly. Ready Master the lead, but Triple Fame's going to get it. And Triple Fame's got up and won a half head to Ready Master. Two to Slave Boy third, then Morty Babe. But... Triple Fame up in the last hop at Cranbourne and the double for two and one paid $8.85. And that's Greyhound Racing, another big program coming up at Olympic Park tomorrow night and, of course, Sandown Park on Thursday night. And we'll be back for last night's program of harness racing at Mooney Valley in just a moment. We've seen 